So here's the four levels of wind attack, becoming ill and treating an external pathogen, being cold, flu, or epidemic in traditional Asian medicine. Number one, prevent the wind attack. Improve your core health and righteous chi, your zheng chi, your immunity. And what you can do is traditional Asian medicine. See an acupuncturist to balance and strengthen your body, to prescribe appropriate herbals, to improve your righteous chi. So some formulas that might be used would be Bujang Yi Chi Tong, Yu Ping Feng San, Huang Chi Ti, Chaga, and Reishi. The first level of wind attack is the Wei Chi level. That's the protective chi, your skin and hair. The symptoms would be like just becoming aware that you're getting sick. There'd be a tiredness, a malaise that you don't usually have, temperature sensitivity. There might possibly be a fever. It could even be a high fever, but it's gonna be more fever than chills, then headache, unfocus, sinus congestion, cough, phlegm, dry sore throat. And what you can do is acupuncture. There's a release of the exterior treatment specifically to help people overcome wind attacks. Gua sha, cupping, herbals prescribed are typically gan mao ling, yin chao san. Again, you can keep strengthening your immune system to help overcome the attack using cha gan reishi, huang chi ti. The second level is qi level, so that's the qi of the meridians, the kuli. The wind attack is going deeper, it's becoming more severe, so you'll see more intensified symptoms, chills and fever, high fever, more intense fatigue, body aches, headaches, unfocus, and again all the upper respiratory sinus congestion, dry sore throat, thirst, nausea, no appetite, poor digestion, bloating. So what you can do again is acupuncture, gua sha, cupping, uh, prescribed herbals, maybe anything from ren shen baidu san, xiao chai hu tong, da qing long tong. The yin third level is the yin or nutritive level, into the internal organs, into the lungs. You might have coughing, dry or wet, there's ch chest congestion, showing all the damage to the lungs, basically the coughing, the chest congestion. There might be yellow, green, blood tinged, white, phlegm. It could be sticky, hard to expectorate or easy to expectorate. You have poor breathing, painful breathing. The fever may become tidal fever, high or smoldering in the yin, sort of worse at night with insomnia and discomfort. You begin to see uh, poor oxygenation of the blood through cyanotic lips, skin purpura shows the heat, restless, thirst, fatigue. And acupuncture and herbs uh, improves breathing, resolves toxic heat in the lungs versus qi. Prescribed herbals might be ma xing shigan tang, qing ying tang, pu ji zhao du yin, qing hao bai ji tang, but as things become more serious, now level four, zhu level, this is a kind of sepsis. Now it's blood level, heat in the pericardium. The symptoms are fever, high persistence, cyanotic blue lips showing the poor, really poor oxygenation of the blood, severe headache, heat sensations, frigid extremities, gasping, chest pain, restless, irritable fatigue, fragile, delirium, coma, and death. So now this, somewhere between stage three and stage four, is usually when a person goes to the hospital. And that's what's happening with do coronavirus. Do integrative emergency medicine, hospitalized acupuncture and herbs. And people in China did do this. So they were, they were hospitalized, but they were using acupuncture herbs and they were being treated with Western medicine. Um, Acupuncture and herbs clears toxic heat trapped at yang and blood level, purges fire, opens orifices, prescribed herbals, on gong, nu huang wan, zhi zhao di huang wan, pu ji zhao du yin. So the time between levels depends on the strength of your core health. If you're in poor health, there's going to be a faster progression through the levels. If you're in strong health, there'll be a slower progression. The poor one's health, the faster an illness travels through the levels and deeper into the core body, becoming entrenched. Often the illness can settle into the lungs, which is level three or out of four possible levels quickly and within three or four days. Once in the lungs, it can take weeks for that person to overcome it. So every illness is a serious battle for someone in poor the health. stronger one's core health with righteous chi intact the slower a pathogen will travel between the levels. Sometimes a person doesn't even know they're fighting an illness because they only felt mild fatigue. The wisdom of traditional Asian medicine is really the preventative principle, which is number one, avoid most illnesses by supporting your righteous chi and balancing your core Number health. two, when ill, treat immediately. Treat at every stage, especially the initial stages. Treating at level one and two is the greatest opportunity to stop the progression and overcome a wind attack. It's key 
key to work with a traditional Asian medical practitioner when you take herbal formulas because there's, there's nuance within each herbal medication and only a licensed practitioner is going to know how your specific constitution may react to it. Taking the wrong herbal medication for you, especially when you're seriously ill, is going to cause harm and ultimately delay your healing. Working with a practitioner will help you understand your deficiencies and how to overcome them while strengthening your core health. And consider this money well spent. Number one, you're getting your core health back, and that's priceless. Number two, paying for one's sickness, even a few days out, is far more expensive in terms of both time, money, and just your emotional wellness than taking care of one's health. Mm -hmm.